Currently in fourth place from Germany, 24-year-old Patricia Nesca. One thing to note on Patricia Nesca is that she doesn't have the same technical depth, meaning that she doesn't have the variety of jumps that a lot of the other skaters have. She does two triples, she does them both very well, but she's going to have to hit them both and well in order to be competitive for third place. Her first jump, a triple toe loop, and she hangs on to the landing. A jump she hits very well, a double axle. Look at the lift she has in this jump. Nicely landed in a double flip. jump a triple sow cow and she turns out of that Patricia Nesca was born in California both her parents of German background lived there at the time. As a matter of fact, they still do. She moved back to Germany in 1985. Almost gave up figure skating last summer, but found a job with a Bavarian bank in order to pay the bills. And is still competing. Picking up speed for her next jump, another triple sow cow. Now she's going to need this if she wants to compete. Well, and she does it for that third place spot. Triple, she has planned a triple toe and she doubles that. I think that was the mistake that's going to cost her any chance at a third place finish here. jump, a double axle, and she does, oh, and she steps out of that too. All in all, a good performance for Patricia. She made a few mistakes, but it won't compete with Tanya Kwiatkowski. Before they could walk, they wanted to dance. Stop the presses! And now the marks for Patricia Nesca. The marks for Patricia Nesca for technical merit are... Well, as I said at the top of her performance, she really doesn't have the difficulty that the other skaters do or the technical variety of the jumps that the other skaters like Midori Ito and Christy Yamaguchi has. So she's not going to be competitive in the marks. Five fours, five threes really reflect what she did. And the next set of marks for artistic impression. 
And these will probably be about the same. You know, Patricia, what she does, she does well, but she doesn't skate with a lot of that intensity and a lot of the fire that you need to be a, an Olympic or a world champion. She's a very cautious skater, and she's very technically correct, but it doesn't really inspire you to give big marks. That means Tanya Kwiatkowski will hold on to third spot, leading one skater left to challenger for that position.